Hello, my awesome and amazing Geminis. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Gemini viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle. Shuffle the deck to power of number nine, power of number eight, and power of number seven, nine, eight, seven. Something's working backwards. Toto, what's going on over there? Why are you moaning over there? Why are you up like sad? I don't know. I don't know why she's doing it. Trying to navigate. It's got to be the Mercury retro. Hey, 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 hey. Don't let this Mercury retrograde, <laughs> retrograde get the best of you, Toto. Uh, no, don't get snippy. Okay. Okay. So anyway, the numbers that seem to be working backwards, maybe you feel, Gemini, that there are certain areas of your life that you're working backwards or that things are not moving as fast as you would like it to. So adding up the numbers brings me to the number 24. I don't know. There could be a breakthrough maybe for you for some of you in the next 24 hours. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. You could also be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. You could also be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You may also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could also be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April for some of you, okay? Some of you could be 42, 47, 48, or 49 years of age. You could have been born in 1972, 1974, 1978, or 1979. You could have been born in 1982, 1984, 1987, or 1989. You could have been born in 1992, 1994, 1997 or possibly 1998 again for some of you so going to the power of number 24 for the beautiful star sign of Gemini And 24. Trusted ancestors of my Gemini viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Gemini need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. Mm, getting out of conflict. Five of swords in the reverse. Okay. So if things have been really frustrating for you lately, Gemini, some of you could be dealing with another air sign first off. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini more specifically. However, you are going to win the battle or get out of some kind of conflict. Or let's just say you kind of dodged a bullet, maybe with some narcissistic, abusive people. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. What is this energy? Possibly with a fire sign, this could be a former lover. This could be assumed to be ex-husband, soon to be ex-wife, could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This could be you turning away or turning your back on what is no longer serving your highest purpose, Gemini.
It's like I heard Spirit say as I was shuffling, you have bigger fish to fry than to deal with these petty people, whoever they are. Yeah. These people left you in a sense of lack. Friends, family members, former lover, you know. Maybe you feel caught or stuck in the middle right now of a particular situation or a family dynamic. I feel like what Spirit's saying is, look, you need to own your power and you need to keep moving forward. And it's not to say that you don't care. I feel like Spirit is saying, don't get involved anymore or don't get caught or stuck in the middle of a situation. Because it feels to me that there are people around you that need to, to battle out their own shit, basically. And maybe you're the type of person that, you know, is like that cellular glue who kind of brings people together or maybe try to talk things out, rationalize the situation. I just feel like spirit saying, no, you need to get out of this because if you're coming in as a king or a queen right now, the bottom line is we have two fives, two of the nasty fives that come in <clears throat> out of the suits, okay, with the swords and the coins, okay? I feel like Spirit is saying, pick and choose your battles wisely. Or if somebody's trying to pick a fight with you, just it's like you could be in kind of like a fight or flight mode or you are just going to flight. <laughs> You're just going to move away from a situation, okay? Bottom line. These people try to create some kind of havoc or confusion before in your life. And the interesting part is it almost feels to me that there are some people here that ask you for strong, solid advice, Gemini, but they never take it. They never do anything with the information that you give them or the ideas or the suggestions. And you're probably like, why the hell do I even bother? Why do I bother? Some of you may feel like you want to tattoo the word dummy on your forehead. You know, it's just like, you know what I mean? Just because spirit is trying to keep your energy at a high vibrational frequency. But if you keep hanging around this particular person or this group of people or this former lover, your energy is going to go down the tubes here. You may end up falling back into a negative, aggressive pattern that you took so long to get out of. These vultures, that's what I'm hearing. These vultures, they need to figure out their own shit. They need to figure out their life. They need to learn how to level up. And a lot of them are not. They're just so stuck in their own trauma without really healing themselves. You know what I mean? They're they're just kind of in their own they're in their own world. And I get it. A lot of times we we get into those patterns because of trauma, childhood trauma, things like that. You know, but these people are old enough to know the difference. You know what I mean? But I don't feel that these people are truly doing anything to better their life because they sure as hell made your life a living hell for some of you or this person. <laughs> Spears like Gemini, run and hide. <laughs> They're like, run and hide, Gemini. <laughs> you might need to fly under the radar. You might need to fly because I saw the moon card. I saw the moon card in my mind's eye. You may need to <laughs> just focus on you. Okay, just focus in on you. That's all you got to do right now. But you are going to get out of some kind of conflict. Because these people are just, whoever they are, they're just vital. Yeah, Spirit saying, I just heard it as I was shuffling. Spirit saying, don't be a hero, Gemini. Go be a hero in somebody else's life, but don't be a hero to these perpetrators to, to have you like make them see the good side of life. 
or these people or try to get them to look at you in a different way. I also feel here too with the five of swords in the reverse up against the king of wands is that you won the battle on something or you shut somebody up, Gemini, with your actions or your energy or rising to the top or your level of success is going to shut a lot of people up who felt like they have always been in competition with you, whether you knew it or not. The jealous haters, you're basically going to shut up your jealous haters. That's what I just heard. There's a message. Somebody may want to wave the white flag with you, Jim. High honor. Yeah, see, remember how I said you got to stay in your power. You need to stay in this elevation. The longer you mix and mingle with some of these people or these friends or family members or this former lover and they're not stepping up to the plate, they're not taking full responsibility for their actions, you do not want your high vibrational frequency in and around these people because they'll latch on to you like a little minion, okay? They're going to latch on to you and drag you down, drag you down when you're not looking and into that lack conscious mentality again. Yeah, message of concern. You might even have somebody that's going to try to hit you up for money. You know, so fair warnings, four arms. You know, you could have tried to express your concern with some of these friends or family members and their antics or their actions and what it is, that, you know, that they've been doing and how they hurt you and all of this. But they're not, they're not really truly paying attention to that. Your winning the battle, Gemini, is your success. Your success is what is going to shut the people up. But here's the other catch 22. A lot of times when we move into success, yes, it's going to get quiet. I'm going to, I'm going to be fully thousand percent with you. It will get quiet. The people who you thought were your friends are not your friends. They're going to drop off like flies, you know, and I get it. We all have a life. We're very busy. We're trying to make money and keep a roof over our head and, it, you know, doing all this, right? However, these people took you for granted, but the success, eventually it won't be lonely forever. Okay. You may be doing a lot of things in silence right now, and it could really be, you know, weighing down or beating you up on a mental level and an emotional level, but mostly mental level, because, you know, some of you could still be going through some massive triggers with these particular friends or family members that have hurt you. And it could be true that in your mind, you know, you could still be replaying some things from the past. I get that part. I would understand that fully because I've been through that before. I still go through it every now and then. But you're never going to be able to make these people see things from your point of view, they just don't have the mental capacity. They don't have the mental capacity to step outside the box, think outside the box, whatever the case may be. So you're going to shut them up with your success. That's how it's going to be done. But you don't want to be lingering just because you're trying to be the good person. You know what I mean? Go be a good person to a local charity or go be a good person to maybe an orphanage. Go be a good person to maybe a children's hospital. Go be a good person uh, maybe to the veterans. Go be a good person to help somebody in, uh, aspire them to start their own business. You know, if you're very already like already established, if you're successfully established in your own home-based business, Go teach a class. Go take your energy where it's going to be more wanted and more needed by the public. Not these people who are around you that you consider your friends or your family members because they're, they're not treating you, in truth, they're not treating you right now with the greatest respect. They don't care. They don't care about you. That's the thing. They don't. A lot of them don't. A lot of them don't. And a lot of them are brown nosers and some of them are going to try to write off on your success. But the longer that you linger in this 
energy of them mm. being like this. Mm. They're like a succubus, you know? They're, they they mm. want to suck you dry, mm. you know? They, they just want to mm. deplete you. Not if you're in this high vibrational frequency mm -hmm. and you're in the high honor, okay, mm -hmm. you are above these people mm -hmm. around you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, it can feel like a little bit of an ego mm -hmm. boost, and yes, it, it makes us feel good, but that's because you put in the hard work. You will get mm -hmm. rewarded by the universe and your trusted mm -hmm. ancestors when you put the work in mm -hmm. and you keep on keeping on and keep moving forward. Towards the greater mission. But you will silence them, I feel, with your success. And you could be in this contemplation. It's like, well, I want everybody to get along. And I just want everybody to feel good. And I want things to be back to the way it used to be. Well, what was it like it used to be? Was it really that great? If a lot of you went through childhood trauma, what, what, what was the good times? Because a lot of times if you're dealing with narcissistic parents or narcissistic abusive siblings or aunts and uncles, those good times in the holidays, that, that was all an illusion, you guys. Because what about the other 364 days out of the year? Something to think about. Your success will shut them up. And it will be lonely for a little while. It will be lonely. You'll be in a lot of alone time during your certain periods of your success. Expect it. Expect it. But it won't be like that forever. Because the more you choose to start creating opportunities for yourself, then the better people in your life will start to make their presence known and be on that pathway with you to help lead you, to help guide you. Sometimes you'll make a new friend. You might meet a new soulmate. Whatever the case may be. But... Spirit is saying, do not linger anymore in these toxic vampire succubus energies you have no business being in. They have no business being in your energy. These people used to weigh you down to the ground, Gemini. Stop dealing with them. Some of them are just, they're, they're never going to learn. They're never going to learn. They're never going to change. But you are the one that's going to change. You are going to be the shift. You are a chosen one. You are the one to do better. To do better than your generation before you. Okay? That's the mission. To do better than the generations before us. To become the best version of you. My awesome and amazing Geminis, if you would like to book a personal reading with me mm -hmm. and do it through the power mm -hmm. of the numbers, you can hit me up mm -hmm. at bluescorpiongifts mm -hmm. at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, mm -hmm. will book you for that personal reading. Mm -hmm. But until next time, mm -hmm. take care.